Good morning. I'm going to do this on the side. We're going to do this plant today. So I'm going to try. What, sweetie? Try this on the side. What, Roman? He has not talked to me all morning. It's only because I'm on here that he's like, hey, let's chat about it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I don't remember what color. I'm terrible about remembering what colors. Okay, that's what we're gonna go with. Okay. We're also gonna need this pen. All right, so today we're gonna do some Lazy Daisy stitches um, for this plant here and then this one down here as well so on the pre-printed patterns um i did this the same as how i've drawn it i don't have the leaves on there so because i want you to decide where you want them because sometimes i feel like i do bigger um leaves and then they don't always like when i draw them i feel like oh yeah we need a hundred leaves and then when i get stitching i'm like oh gosh that was too many leaves so I want you to kind of decide how many you want um, and kind of go from there. Because we can do, you can do one of two things. You can, so we'll have one at the top and then you could go like every other side and do a leaf like that. Or you could do one on each side and really fill this in. So it really depends on how full you want these. Once you get down here where they're all together, um, they're going to get closer together. So I'm going to recommend that you do um, one on each side and then fill in more afterwards if you want to. Only because of this space here, it'll just get really full of leaves. So that's what I'm recommending, but feel free to do something different if you would like. So we're going to use three strands of the 561 today. Let me see if I can get my windows to give us a little more light shining down. It's a little dreary outside today. Okay. Where is our green? Okay, so when I am doing these types of... What, honey? Can you go ask daddy? Um, when I'm doing this type of greenery, I like to start, oh gosh, this is too low. Hang on one second. I 
I like to start up at the top and then I do my stem and then I do go I do my stem all the way to the bottom and then I do the leaves on my way back up. So a lazy daisy stitch is we're going in and out of the same hole down here and then we're going to keep this loop. We're going to come up at the end of our leaf. Pull that, dun, 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 dun. this is really long, pull it kind of snug. The tighter you pull this, the pointier it will be. So if you want to keep it a little bit looser, then it'll be a little bit more rounded. And then we're just going to go down on the other side of it to um, tack it down. Okay, so there's our first little lazy daisy stitch or it's a detached chain stitch. So when we were working on our chain stitch down here, it's similar to that, but it's just, it's detached. So it's just one at a time. So now we're just gonna back stitch our stem and then we'll come back up and do our leaves um, afterwards. So back stitch, we just go forward a stitch, backwards a stitch, and then we wanna keep these all the same length because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the leaves in these, like where the, the stem connects. Okay. So this one is attaching to this one. So I'm gonna stop there and then I'm gonna start doing some leaves. So I'm just gonna go, oh, just kidding. I forgot, that's where I went down. So I'm gonna come down here and do another little leaf. So we're gonna go in and out of that same hole. Whoop. And then come out to the side. Pull that snug. Oh, hey. I still have a needle hanging back there. I didn't even realize. And then tack it down. Then we'll come back to this side. So kind of pay attention to like, whoop. Kind of pay attention to what's over here. So we want to make this leaf kind of go up a little bit more because if we go out, then it's gonna, um, we're gonna be stitching on top of it over here, which is fine if that's what you're going for. That's, but kind of just I like to just be conscious of like what's going on around it. See, so if we did one on both sides, can you see how full this would be? So in and out. And then pull it snug. And tack it down. What, honey? I'm just gonna do a couple of these um, stems so then we can move down to the other ones. <laughs> when I turn this over, I'm gonna have to <laughs> trim that again. So that's one done. So that's why I like to start with this top one and then do the stem, because now I'm back at the top. I can do this loop and then do the stem down and the leaves up, and then I can go here. So then I don't have like 
threads going everywhere. That's kind of my thought process with that. That's why I do it that way. So, okay, I'm going to do this one next to it. lower terrarium so I'm gonna go down here and then I don't want to stitch over top of this leaf, so I'm just going to come down here and start my next one. You can stitch over the top of it if you want. I don't want to. Okay, and then we're going to do our leaves. generally hold my thread out of the way while I'm trying to figure out where I want the end of my leaf to go because sometimes it's in my way so like instead of leaving it here I'll like move it and be like okay I want this one to end right here and then I loop that back over the top little knots. Hey mom. What buddy? We fill in control with this. See how fast that fills up with like an every other, and every other side. Like if we put one on each side, it would be crazy. I have got some kind of knot back here. Hang on. I'm going to come up where this next one's going to go just so that this thread is out of the way um, because I don't want it to get in the way underneath while we're working on our next one. <laughs> we'll come back to you, buddy. Okay. So we're gonna come down and work on this one. This one has lazy daisies as well. Um, uh, let me figure out the colors. Okay, so 9.36. And 11 is what we're going to do. Um, and then I the same thing on this one. I didn't draw out the leaves. 
um, for the like the printed pattern if you got a kit. Um, just because I wanted you to be able to decide where you wanted your leaves to go. So we're gonna do three or four at the top with the yellow, and then I'm just gonna draw some lines. We're gonna do one on each side, but I'm doing them a little bit further apart because then when we come in here, I can do them in between on the next one. So then they won't overlap as much, but it'll fill the space really nicely. Okay, so let's start with our yellowish. So we're gonna use three strands on this one as well. So we're gonna start with the 11. Let me just pull those threads apart real quick. Okay. Da, da, da. Tying a knot is not as easy this morning. I did not get enough sleep last night. Okay. So I'm gonna start here and do a bunch of little lazy daisy stitches. Okay, so I want to be conscious of when I end here, then I can just move right to here. So then if I work this way, then I'm here for this one, work this way. Just so I kind of, well, so I don't have threads running all over everywhere. The only thing with this first one is... Remember that you started here, so you've got a knot there already. So just be careful. These don't have to go in the same hole, but just keep them really close together. These can be some longer, some shorter. You... My alarm went off. Okay, so some of these can be longer, some can be shorter. Um, kind of whatever you're feeling. Just make the bottoms all close together. This one's a little bit smaller, still growing, so I'm just gonna do three littler ones on it. Gosh, is my video glitchy for everyone else? I'm watching on my iPad and it keeps like glitching. Giselle says it's not glitching for her. Good. Okay.
I really love Lazy Daisy stitches. I just think they're like, they're just so cute. I think they're fun to do. Super versatile. You can use them for so many things. just think that they are super fun to do. I think I'm going to do four on this one as well, and then three on the end. One of Shelly's favorites too. Yay! But I also, I know it. we've done a lot of French knots on this one, but I love French knots. Okay, maybe I won't do four on this one. I did that first one a little too big. Let's see if I can fit it. Just gonna do this one a little bit lower. One more, and then we'll move to these stems. There. All right. All right, let's get our 936 out. And I'm gonna get three strands for that one as well. So if you're sick of lazy daisies, you could just do these as straight stitches as well. Um, if you're sick of it, feel free to not do them. Okay, so I'm gonna start here because if I start here and go down, then I can't come back up here and do my leaves, okay? So I'm going to start here and we'll do our leaves while we're doing our stem on this one. Just remember you have a knot there, so make sure you're not like grabbing it and pulling it through. Okay, so then the same thing, we have to be conscious because we wanna come out of this hole to do our leaves. So we need to come down here and go up so that we can go back in that hole and do our leaves. And I'm doing the right side first 
because I don't want my thread going from here to here because you'll be able to see it a little bit, which I know not very much and it really is not gonna matter in the long run, but it's just how I roll. So I'm gonna do this one second because then this will get kind of, the thread behind will get covered up by other stitches. So when you're doing um, the leaves at the same time as the stem, you can start by going up or going down. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'll go up on this next one. But if you're going to do the leaves second, I would say do the stem down and then do the leaves up. to go into this over here so that one is kind of tiny it just took me 30 minutes to thread a needle to sew a hole in pants oh Whitney <laughs> it's definitely a skill you have to learn like, it doesn't come naturally to some. Okay, so I'm kind of moving the brown out of the way so I can kind of stitch that, like, into the dirt. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to start where the petals are, or the leaves are going to go. And then... These leaves. I'm just gonna do this second one and then I will let you go complete this on your own. Oh my, hang in there. <laughs> hang in there, Whitney. What do we think of these ones? I liked the really bright yellow with the darker green. I thought it would be a really fun contrast. I'm excited to add a little purple though. All this green and brown and gray. Whitney thinks it's adorable. There is a tool for that, a needle threader. That's true, you could go get a needle threader. I don't like needle threaders. I really struggle with them. I bet it would be good for my kids though, now that I think about it. I should get one, because when they want to stitch, it, I'm like constantly threading needles for them. I have to see what they think about that.
Okay. There we go. That is those. That one got twisted. I don't like the shape of it. Anyways, okay friends, that is it for me today. All these cute little leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these and then I'll post it to my story so you can see it all completed. Um, wait a minute, buddy. And then tomorrow we're going to do the fly stitch over here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I think we're going to do the fly stitch and we'll do this one. I still can't decide what, what um, stitch I want to do. So... Hey, Roman. Shh. Hey. Um, so we'll do those two, and then we're going to do the closed Cretan stitch on this, and then some split stitch, and then we'll brick stitch around the edge on Friday. So that's what's coming up. Tomorrow we'll do these two. I will decide. I will make a decision, I promise, on what we're going to do here. <laughs> but it just hasn't happened yet. So anyways, I'll be back tomorrow regular time at 10 a.m., so... Come back and join me and enjoy all of your little tiny petals. I mean, all of your little tiny leaves today. Okay, thanks for coming. Bye, guys.